Hello, hello, welcome or welcome back to kfarin.com. Today is day 27 of my 30 day minimalist challenge. So we're really, really in the final stretch. And I've got to say, I've been loving every day of, of this challenge. So for day 27, I'm getting rid of one empty wine box. Um, I don't know why we've been holding on to this, but a few years back, we went out to the Western Slope in Colorado and we bought a bunch of wine from the, the um, vineyards that are out there. And we have consumed all of that wine over the years, but for some reason we were hanging on to the box. So I'm getting rid of that box finally. Uh, also getting rid of an empty fitness ball box. I, I don't know why I hold on to boxes. Apparently I have a box fetish. I don't even own cats. So um, anymore, unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to Miss Sassy Pants. But um, so yeah, nobody even makes use of the boxes, but somehow I still hold on to them for some reason. But I'm getting rid of a couple of them at this point. I'm getting rid of two couch pillows, two, um, I had a couple of really old boxes of writing software. So I had the old DVDs of this writing software that I don't use and haven't used forever. I use Scrivener now. So a little plug, even though um, I won't get any kickback from them, Scrivener is awesome. If you're a writer or a blogger, you should totally check it out. But anyway, so I don't use those old programs anymore. So I went ahead and got rid of those. Two mostly eaten soccer balls. I realize that might sound strange, but we own two large dogs and um, they love, love, love chasing the soccer ball around in the backyard and they destroy the soccer balls fairly quickly actually. So two mostly eaten soccer balls that it was time to say goodbye to. I had uh, a Jenga game, which was actually a duplicate. So I'm getting rid of one of the Jenga games six more dog toys that are chewed and destroyed beyond any reasonable recognition. So they're going to go away. Uh, one Christmas ornament. I'm not a big Christmas person, but I do have um, some stuff. And I had one ornament that had somehow escaped from the Christmas box. And so it fell victim to the 30 day minimalist challenge. So that one is donated. One old blanket, one old tarp, a framed picture, a book. I mostly have not been counting books in this, but um, this was kind of a, an interesting book. So I decided to count it this time. Um, that's all I'll say about that. Um, one set of comics. So it's actually a comic series. I think there's something like six comics in there in, in the series. And I'm getting rid of that and six old plant pots and hopefully that adds up to 27. I was going to do a quick count. I should have done a quick count, um, but I think I'm pretty close to that anyway. So yeah, so that is day 27 of the 30 day minimalist challenge. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about the, oh, you guys, I was just reminded tragedy, tragedy, tragedy has struck. I am so sad. I love this wool sweater. Um, I love it. It's, first of all, it's beautiful and it's also crazy, crazy warm. And I wear it all the time. And I discovered, I don't know what happened, but it has a hole, so I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna do some research on how do I, how can I like close that? I don't know how to sew, you guys. So I don't know what to do, but um, I'm gonna do a little research to see if I can patch that otherwise. This may end up being one of the last times I wear this sweater because while I am a minimalist and I do believe in wearing things until they have holes in them, I do also have a job and, you know, have to go out in the world and I don't really want to wear fully clothes. Um, so I'm really sad about that, you guys. But anyway, so I wanted to talk about one of the, one of the questions that I've been using as part of this challenge, which I honestly haven't really needed to really bring to bear yet because... It's actually been really easy to get rid of this stuff. But one of the questions that is, is sort of my criteria is if you were going to travel for a year or two years or three years and just be a nomad, what would you pay to store? And I think as I go through this, this minimalizing effort over the next year or few years, it'll be interesting once I really start getting down to the stuff that I 
most care about, what ends up making it on that list. But one of the questions that I get is, are you really going to go full digital nomad or full nomad? And um, we are very seriously thinking that we are. So I think that we are pretty committed to going for at least a year and just traveling, being essentially homeless, so to speak, and traveling for a year. We would sell the house that we live in now. We would rent out, keep our other property rented out, and we would just travel for a year. Um, so I think we're pretty, we're pretty committed to a year, although that might change. We're still a few years out from that, so uh, we really may change our minds over that period of time. We're also very interested in camping and just travel, road tripping all around the U.S. So there's a lot of places even in the U.S. that we haven't seen, a lot of national parks that we've never visited. So we're also really interested in maybe doing something very similar and doing like a year basically living out of our camper. So I don't know if we're gonna go full, full homeless digital nomad for any huge period of time. We may end up just taking multi-month trips. So, you know, living in Mexico for four months or somewhere down in South America for four or five months during the winter and then coming home or spending the summer traveling through Europe and then coming back home. I'm not really sure how that's all gonna play out, but I think there's a really, really good chance that we are going to go full digital nomad for at least a year, and then we'll see how that works out. So this website and my books are my digital nomad plan, and I'm having fun doing these. I love doing this, doing this blog and these videos, and I love writing books. So I will do that no matter what. So I guess any way you look at it, I'll be digital, maybe not nomad. Um, but yeah, so I think as the years go by, we'll, we'll get a clearer picture and you guys should check back in 2020 and uh, we should start to see some more plans coalescing around that, around that time. I think we'll have a better idea in a couple of years as to whether we're gonna go full digital nomad. But my plan right now is yes, we are going to go for at least a year and we're gonna be homeless and we're gonna be just hopping around the globe um, we've not spent a lot of time in Asia. We've spent no time in Africa. There's a lot of the world that we have not seen that we both really, really want to see. And I love the idea of writing my books while I'm, you know, part of my book while I'm in France, part of my book while I'm in Thailand, part of my book while I'm in Zimbabwe. I don't know. I, I love the, the idea of just traveling and writing and writing and traveling. It's, um, it's awesome. It's something that I've done before to Europe, only for a couple of months, but I loved it. I could easily see myself doing that for, for many months or even a few years. So, so we'll see what ends up happening. But uh, yeah, digital nomad. I think I'm all in, totally in. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks for stopping by and visiting on day 27, and I will see you tomorrow for day 28.